Mr. Brown, is this some more jumble for our school face? Yes, yeah, just a few things my students brought in. What are these? <laughs> Sikh underwear from Ranjit. Oh, well, I suppose we can always ask the needlework class to sew up the flies and take a bit off the legs and put them in as a pair of football shorts. <laughs> Thoughts of Chairman Mao. No need to ask where that came from. <laughs> Danielle? Max. <laughs> I beg your pardon? He swears he found it in his pocket. There's no idea how it got there. <laughs> Likely story. Well, you better bring this along to my office later and we'll lock it up with all the rest of the stuff until Saturday. Very well. By the way, we've got one. One what? Don't you ever read the notice board? No, I don't get a lot. Obviously not. There has been a notice on the board for the past two weeks to the effect that we were hoping to get a celebrity to open our school face. Oh, yes, I remember now. Who have you got? Robert Dougal. Oh. You remember? He used to read the news. Mm -hmm. I've got the art class making stickers with his name on to put across the posters. Buenas noches, senora. Good evening, Mr. Cervantes. How's your English? Por favor. Your English? <laughs> your English. Me Spanish. <laughs> Sorry, I asked. <laughs> Where are the others? Everybody's coming pronto. Oh, good. I come first to talk how you say, uh, hombre to hombre. Man to man. Uh, so right. <laughs> I have me. A beautiful senorita. No, no, no. I have met a beautiful girl. Eh, uh, just like me. What's her name? <laughs> no, no, no. I haven't met anyone. I was merely correcting your English. Ah, uh, Spanish. Yep. Why? Ah, uh, so right, so right. Well, I want to take Rita. That's her name. Away for the weekend holiday. Mm -hmm. But she lives with her mother. And she thinks maybe her mother not let her come away with me. What can I do? Well, why don't you ask her mother? I don't want to go away with her mother. That's Rita's mother, if you can go away with her on holiday. You think uh, she said yes? Well, I've no idea. What are your intentions? Por favor. <laughs> I'll be blunt. Are you hoping to get Rita into your room? No. Good. Not my room. Her room. <laughs> one room. Yeah, well, in that case, I can't help you. You just have to make your own decision. Uh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Squeeze, please. I'm buying you a cup of tea. Oh, thank you, Ellie. I am buying you a chocolate biscuit. Oh, thank you, Ranjit. Unfortunately, while I'm coming from the canteen, I am eating it. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. It's the thought that counts. Cheers. That's funny. What is it? This tea tastes like coffee. Excuse, please. It is tasting like coffee. <laughs> oh, blimey. That is explaining it. Explaining what? All the time I'm being in the canteen, I'm thinking my coffee is tasting like tea. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I don't think I'll bother. Sit down, everybody. Right, we've still got a lot to do tonight. Um, Max, would you put that cigar out, please? Sorry, boss. Right, now, before we go any further, I want to talk to you about the school fate. We are looking forward to it. Has he got someone famous to open it? Yes, Robert Dougal. Never heard of him. <laughs> I am to see him on television, Master G. Dougal, Florence and Zebedee. <laughs> <laughs> Jamila, that's a doggy sort of Dougal. This is Robert Dougal, who used to be a newsreader, only he's retired now. Ah, oh, that's a no good. It's much better we get somebody who reads the news now. Like that Angela Ripoff. <laughs> Ripon. Scusi. I am liking the other one better. Annie Minnie. <laughs> Annie Minnie? She's reading the news on ITV. Anna Ford. Ronka. <laughs> Miss Courtney should have asked me. What for? You're not famous. No, but I'm a big friend of famous man on television. Another one of your fairies' tales. It's true. He's a big star of Celebrity Square Eyes. Eh, uh, <laughs> he's not Bob Monkey House. <laughs> no, Willie Rushington. <laughs> no, the Cockney Man. Not Arthur Mullard. Yeah, that's him. You know him well. Like a brothers. 
He would have been very happy to come and hope on the fate. Uh, well, it's too late now. We've already got Mr. Dougal. Now, what I would really like to know is what each of you are doing to help the fate to raise money. As you know, whatever we take goes to charity, so we obviously want to make as much as we can. This what we think of, we make a fortune. Good. Uh, tell me what you're doing, Anna. Jamila and me, we bring some bathroom scales and we charge 2p for one weighing. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Ali, what are you doing? Oh, Ranjit and I are having a very good game. We are putting empty tins on a piece of wood. And for only 5p, you can be throwing three bollies to be knocking them down. <laughs> are there any prizes? Oh, yes, please. If you are knocking three tins down, you are winning one pound. I don't want to worry you, Ali, but you could lose money on that. Oh, no. You are being mistaken. Nobody is knocking down your one tin. Well, why not? We are nailing the tins to the piece of wood. <laughs> Very ingenious. Juan, what are you doing? Ah, I make plenty money with Daniel. Yeah, but doing what? Selling kisses. Oh, so we have plenty fun. How much are you selling your kisses for? 5p, 10p and 15p. Oh, what's the difference? Ah, I show you. <laughs> for 5p, you kiss on a one cheek. For 10p, you kiss on the both the cheek. <laughs> and for 15 p I'd buy one of them 15 p kisses. <laughs> I don't kiss you. Not to you, Daniel, you great Spanish paella. Uh, you don't speak to me like that, you macaroni face. <laughs> right, what will do? Sit down and behave yourself. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that means you, All right. Right, <coughs> right um, Max. What have you in mind for Saturday? I tell you. <laughs> the boss asked me to tell him. We both to tell him. OK. <coughs> we got a great idea. We got a great idea. Jammer jars. Jammer jars. <laughs> Jam jars? That's right. That's right. You're beginning to sound like an echo, Max. Do you have to repeat everything Giovanni says? Sorry, boss. First, we get the jam jars. First, we get the jam jars. <laughs> you start. Excuse me. We put the jam jars on the floor. And people try to throw 10p into a jam jar. If they miss, we keep the 10p. <laughs> and if they get one in? They win 5p. We can't <laughs> lose! Clever, eh? Yeah, I don't think you'll get too many takers. Taro? Ah, so. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing anything? Yes, sir. Swapo, shopo. Swapo, what? Oh, swap, shop. Oh, yes, please. Mr. Brown, 